Hello, everyone. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Michael Perino, and I'm the Group Chief Information Security Officer of CMSCGM Group. I come to you today considering myself more than lucky to participate every day to the cyber digital transformation of the group, improving our security posture, reducing our risk, and making a real difference on the business and cyber fronts. Every company, countries, and acquisition operated in a silo with their own on-premise IT stack. When I started, we didn't have any kind of central visibility, policies, nor security controls for the entire group. Let me explain you how our architecture was before this scaler. Nothing was centralized, no global visibility, no common approach on the access to the internet. As it is impossible to bring all the internet connection at the same place, we had to use the fact we are global to give access locally to all our offices. But it comes with complexity on a perimeter of more than 700 firewalls dispatched all over the world. So we had to face the following challenges. Managing legacy firewall updates and obtain the information of their version. Patching them and having confirmation they are patched. Accepting that we can have different policies between business units. That's why we wanted to move on a cloud-based solution like this scaler. Present everywhere, we facilitate the application of security policies and for sure, we give a global visibility. We started with ZIA, the scaler internet access, to set the foundation before the COVID-19, then we accelerated after the pandemic began. The deployment was quick, and first results were visibility on users connecting from 160 locations worldwide, dramatic growth in Office 365 traffic without having to think about it, great user experience with more security, and Zscaler's cloud uh, native architecture ensured we could inspect and stop threat in all SSL traffic without worrying about capacity. A typical way of granting granular access to users is by implementing network segmentation in a traditional approach, which is complex, costly, and takes a very long time. The Scalar Zero Trust architecture enables quick implementation of granular access control for users without the need to implement traditional feature component, mostly based on IP sources, and destinations. As CMACGM networks grows in a part merge by merge and acquisition, the group has to maintain networks with different level of integration. The previous approach was to enable traditional VPN connectivity back to each local agency using four different, different vendors, meaning having multiple hundreds points of entry to our network. Maintaining a cohesive policy across all these devices has always been a challenge, and the lockdown around the world due to the COVID-19 made the VPN entry points an additional attack surface. After a successful proof of value at the beginning of summer, we moved to deployment with our Oceana region as a pilot. A cyber attack occurred a couple of days after we successfully finished our pilot phase, and one action taken to reduce the breed of the attacks has been to disable interconnectivity between sites, effectively rendering any internal communication impossible. We have been able to go from 400 to 27,000 users within two days, while configuring application segment for each application required for business. This is easy to deploy, easy to configure, and easy to manage. Let me share with you my experience on how I make business case to the C-suite. During the COVID-19 crisis, it was clear to me that it was required to quickly protect people working remotely and having remote workstation constantly updated and patched. But even if it's important, it's not enough. I remember when I came into the investment committee with this argument. I was challenged by them on the difficulty to find the right balance between necessary and sufficient. I was also challenged on the budget and the fact that a traditional VPN could be enough. To it back, I mentioned the risk related to the vulnerability on VPN solutions, the need of homogenization of solutions for the group by establishing a proven and standardized security architecture across 160 countries and 755 agencies. 
the possibility of providing secured access to data and application for all employees and partners, as well as the possibility of securing merge and acquisition with simplicity. The only argument who had an impact was providing a better user experience. So finally, if I can give you my thought, be prepared, present a vision, be passionate. It helps a lot to transform a crisis in opportunity and a good story to tell. Thank you.